Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the R4i 3DS RTS. So this is a fairly low budget R4 card that works with um, just playing Nintendo DS ROMs on any Nintendo DS system. So that's the you know, DS, DS Lite, 3DS, 2DS, um, all of those consoles. And this does support NTR boot hacks as well, but it actually supports the magnet hacks version. So the one where you use a magnet. But anyway, this was sent to me by R4IB9S, so shout out to them. I'll leave a link to their website in the description if you guys wish to purchase one. So this is a very sort of cheap R4 card, but um, you know, very reliable and definitely a good one. So anyway, let's get into the unboxing and let's just see what's in the box. So on the back right here, uh, just before we open it, it just shows all the latest fe all of the features and stuff it has, so real-time saves, um, you know. You can use FAT32 micro SD cards, all of that kind of stuff. So let's just open this right now. So as you can see, very simple. It just comes with the R4 RTS um, card and then a, a micro SD to USB adapter. Alright guys, so to set up the card, what you want to do is you just want to get a micro SD card, any size really. The one I've got right here is 16 gigabytes, so a pretty decent size um, for this. But anyway, all you want to do is put it into the uh, micro SD to USB adapter, then connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what files you need to copy across. Right guys, so on your PC, what you want to do is you want to find your SD card, so it will be here somewhere on your PC, so mine is here, 16 gigabytes. All you want to do is right click, let's go down to format, but guys remember before you do this it will delete everything on the SD card. So make sure you just select capacity, um, select FAT32, default allocation size and then just click start. Then just click OK. And then once the format's complete all you have to do is just click OK and then click close. So now I will show you guys two links in the description. So the first link is just where to buy one. Um, so this was sent to me by R4IB9S. So obviously shout out to them. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description so make sure you check it out if you're interested. Um, here are all of the advantages and stuff like that. So the second link in the description will be the firmware that you will need to get. So you will need to get the latest version right here. Um, and you guys can just choose whichever language you want. I'm going to choose English. So the firmware is about 30 megabytes, so just give it maybe a minute to download. Right guys, so once it's finished downloading, just head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in there. So here is mine, and here are my two NDS games. So keep in mind this doesn't play 3DS ROMs, this is just for DS ROMs. So you guys can back your ROMs up, or you can just get them from wherever you want, that is entirely up to you. So with the kernel and firmware, all you want to do is right click, then select the extract here. Once it's finished extracting, you can go and delete the zip file. And all you want to do, guys, is copy all of these files onto the root of your SD card. Okay, guys, so once it has finished, that is it for your PC. So you can now take out your SD card, put it back into your R4, put it into your DS, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you finish copying all the files and your ROMs across, all you want to do is disconnect your SD from your PC. You can now just put it back into your R4 card. And then just put it into a console of your choice. So for this video, I'll be using my old Nintendo 3DS. So just literally put in the cartridge. So once you guys power your 3DS on, it will just come up like this. Bomber land and Nintendo. So all you do is just press A to open it. And then this is what the interface looks like. So it has my SD card right here. It's found out it's 16 gigabyte and FAT32. So the first option here is game. That seems to power off. So we've got game right here. Then we've got multimedia and then we've got options. Well, config. So if you go into config, um, you can upgrade, change the skin, um, all that kind of stuff. Not really. There's a few stuff in here. I don't really want to change anything. Maybe we'll see if there's some more skins installed. 
Um, yeah, let's go. There isn't. Let's go back. So let's just go on to game right here because that is the most interesting thing. So as you can see, it's picked up the ROMs. And it also comes with um, Moon, um, <clears throat> Moonshell 2, uh, which I'm pretty sure is like a music thing. So you can listen to like MP3 files and stuff. Um, this cartridge does actually have like a timer on. So if you leave it, it just turns off like this. That's why I keep on having to move it. So we've got Mario Kart DS and Pokemon Conquest. So let's just load up Mario Kart DS. So first time loading. It will create a save file and then it will just load but the game it should load up fairly fast um, and Wi-Fi loads and everything like that so you can play with your friends on multiplayer so let me just give you a demo at the game as you can see right now um, it's while loading full speed and everything like that it's pretty much just like um, every R4 card um, but just I think this one's slightly cheaper than most of them um, you know everything still works like that you can still even do um, NTR boot hacks and everything like that but it's just one of the more um, low budget R4 cards. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of the R4i RTS. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.